you my name is Jones and today is day 12 of Vlog Every Day in May about DNA. Today, I can't believe I did that again, we're going to talk about purines and pyrimidines because they're cool and also part of DNA. Sort of part of DNA. Well, some interesting logic there. Could go on a big logical tangent about that, but I don't feel like it because I'm lazy. As <laughs> I have to say my favorite skate trick is the banahana. I mean, that's that's a really cool trick. It's freaking sexual. I mean, how could you not like banahanas? They're like the coolest skate trick ever. However, if I could land just one skate trick, it's sort of a tie between a 540 one foot Japan Air, a Judo Madonna, and a backflip 360 Christ Air. So yeah, I'd say my top three are banahana, one foot Japan, Christ. Christ air is so just- We're talking about purines and pyrimidines today! Back on to DNA and stuff. Let's start with pyrimidines. Because that's a logical place to begin. This is a pyrimidine ring. Yes, pyrimidine and purine both refer to functional groups. Officially, a pyrimidine is a heterocyclic compound with nitrogens, meta to each other. In other words, on the one and the three positions. Because if it's if it's meta and you have like other things, it kind of makes it M. Primidines are functional groups and they're really cool. Cytosine, uracil, and my favorite thymine are primidines. Just thought I'd point that out. Next thing we need to know is the imidazole ring. And you're probably looking at that thinking, one, how the f*** does this relate? Two, that is a terrible five-membered ring. It kind of reminds me of furan in some weird way. Imidazole. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Now you're definitely wondering why is imidazole significant? Because this is a video about purines and pyrimidines. But here's the crazy part about purines. They are a pyrimidine ring fused to an imidazole ring. like. Pyrimidine part is in red and the imidazole is in blue. Now I know what you're thinking. Holy sh**, Kirby Rex, you cannot draw five membered rings, can you? No, I cannot. Amine and guanine are purines, but here's the best part. Caffeine is a purine. Theobromine is a purine. Theobromine is the compound in chocolate that makes it bitter. It's also the part that kills dogs. The median lethal dose for a dog of theobromine is like less than two milligrams per kilogram. That's that's why dogs can eat white chocolate because it doesn't have theobromine. And there's also a trick for remembering which are which, which are the bicyclic rings and which are the monocyclic rings. Purines are the big ones with the two rings and it's a short name. And pyrimidines are the small ones with the long name. So if you remember long name, small structure, short name, sh long structure, you know what I mean. I mentioned in day 8 that DNA has purine pyrimidine based pairing. What the hell does that mean? I'm gonna tell you right now what that means. So that means that a purine always has to be matched up with a pyrimidine. And the reason that adenine goes with thymine and guanine goes with cytosine is just because the number of hydrogen bonds they make and that's how things worked out. Did I mention that I took a wicked dump before this video? And I feel great right now. And I have to mention that I put on this shirt just for this video. Which is a bit ridiculous because it's a Blink-182 shirt for a DNA video. When I have a t-shirt about DNA with DNA on it and stuff. So why am I wearing a Blink-182 shirt? I don't know. And I felt like I should put on a shirt because I wasn't wearing a shirt when I started filming. So I thought to prevent my video from getting flagged as inappropriate, I should probably put a shirt on. Is transcript a verb? Can it be used as a verb? Oh yeah, so it is day 11. My producers were being wonderful to me today and they printed this out for me. I love you guys. You guys are great. They don't really do anything, they just go, here you go, this is what you're gonna talk about. They just hand me sh <laughs> That's what happens. That's, that's a thing that happens. Yeah! One of these days I'm gonna walk away happy. 
Today is not that day. It made us all. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs>